Oh, hi. I often come here late at night after a long day and I will fall asleep watching some TV program that has absolutely nothing to do with my life. And I just can't seem to keep my eyes open until I do this. As soon as I sit up and get ready to go to bed, I am wide awake. Everything suddenly is back in my mind. All the things that have happened during that day and all the things I need to do for the next. And I could go upstairs and lay in bed for an hour or more. That's usually my rule, I get up then. So I decided I would find out if it was just me. And what surprised me was, as I was thinking about this, my children were talking about one of their kids who was having trouble sleeping. I noticed the answers the adults gave came in the middle of the night. So I don't think it's just me. And I'm pretty sure it's not just my family. So what I want you to think about is how we could do more to get rest that God tells us we need. We are supposed to take a day of rest. So I looked up different ways and most of them were related to the military and people who are going into treacherous situations so there's some stress level there. They talk about a pilot and basically they just say, relax your body, pieces at a time. But then that didn't work for me, so I thought I would try something else. And what I found was one that said they told the military what they should do was to sit in there with their eyes closed and say, don't think over and over in their head. I tried that and that one worked for me. And I thought, well, that's an idea. Then I thought we should find out what scripture says. There was a guy named David in scripture who if anybody was had some stressful situations and you know about that man's life, he would qualify. And so today I want to give you a gift, a gift of how David found ways to rest in the Lord. And so you can have that gift of rest in your life.